smaller anti-tank missile to follow NAG's success. For a country that has developed intercontinental ballistic missiles, the failure to develop a 4 km range missile to destroy battle tanks is a conundrum. Last year, the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, completed the development of the NAG, the last of its integrated guided missile development program IGMEP, missiles that began in 1983. Successful trials of the NAG in 2016 and 2017 have finally put the missile on the path to induction by the Army, 35 years after the program began. The NAG's luck seems to have rubbed off on a new project to build a smaller man-portable anti-tank guided missile, BATM. The BATM was successfully tested by the DRDO on September 15 and 16 at an Army firing range in Ahmadnagar, Maharashtra, and met all its performance parameters. The successful test of the NAG has given us a lot of confidence and we have now mastered most of the critical technologies pertaining to anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, says a senior DRDO official. Among the most difficult aspects is the development of an infrared seeker that is able to distinguish a target from the clutter of a battlefield, especially in high temperature conditions. While each 4 km range NAG missile weighs over 40 kg and is carried into battle by a Namika, NAG missile carrier, tracked vehicle based on an armored personnel carrier, the BATM is a comparative featherweight at 14.5 kg and, as its designation suggests, is meant to be hepped into the battlefield by soldiers. Once launched, the missile can home in to attack the top of enemy tanks, where they are most vulnerable, at ranges of between 200 m and 2.5 km. The missile, being developed in collaboration with Hyderabad-based private sector firm VEM Technologies, is an emerging success story for a public-private partnership. The BATM would complete all its trials in the next six months and be handed over to the Army for user evaluation next year. Going by the NAG experience, these are radical timelines. The BATM project was started three years ago under the government's Make in India program to meet the Army's requirement of over 80,000 ATGMs by fielding an indigenously designed, developed, and manufactured missile. In January this year, the Defense Ministry scrapped a plan to import 8,000 Spike ATGM missiles and 300 launchers from Israel. Instead, the Cabinet Committee on Security is to shortly greenlight a government-to-government -government deal for purchasing 5,000 Spike ATGMs from Israel. The rest of the Army will get the DRDO built BATM over the next few years.